Today we're heading to Timeless to see if we can make infinite creatures, maybe on turn three, with the help of Intruder Alarm. So here is our Intruder Alarm combo deck. In the goal of our deck, it's pretty simple. We're trying to make infinite creatures with the help of Intruder Alarm. Intruder Alarm, first time it's ever been legal on Magic Arena, was added during Wilds of Eldorain is an enchanted tale, pre-banned in Historic, so Timeless is our first chance to actually see if we can go infinite with this card. So it's a three mana enchantment. It says creatures don't untap during their controller's untap phases, but whenever any creature enters the battlefield, you untap all creatures. So how do you go infinite with Intruder Alarm? There's actually like a ton of different ways. Some of them are kind of convoluted or require mana dorks. The easiest and best way though, is you just need creatures that tap to make more creatures. So our best combo piece is Steward of Solidarity, a card that you probably didn't even know existed. I forgot it existed until I started working on this deck. Two mana two two, you can tap and exert it to make a one one warrior creature token with vigilance. So the idea is turn two we stake steward, turn three you play intruder alarm, then we can exert the steward to make a one one. That one one will trigger intruder alarm to untap everything including steward of solidarity. So then we can tap steward again, make a one one, do it again, do it again, do it again. Infinite one one tokens are back up combo piece is Zeri Strobe Knight. Zeri Strobe Knight does the same thing as Steward of Solidarity, except it makes two twos. The downside is it's three mana, and more importantly, we can only tap it to make a creature if we've cast at least two spells during the turn. Normally, this doesn't matter, but it is something to be aware of. If we're like empty handed and top deck it, we're not going to be able to combo right away. So that's the main goal of the deck. The rest of our deck is mostly about finding and protecting our combo. So collect a company court of calling. They find any of our combo creatures. They can also find Moonblast Cleric, which can tutor an enchantment to the top of our library. So if we like Coco into Moonblast Cleric, we put our Intruder Alarm on the top of our deck, draw it the next turn, combo off and win the game. We also have Delighted Halfling and Deathrite Shaman, just to speed things up a little bit. Plus their bodies on the battlefield for like Corda Calling. Give River Owns just make sure our tap to make a token creature survives our opponent's removal. That's the easiest way for our opponent to beat our deck, is just always kill the Zeri Strobe Knight. Always kill the Steward of Solidarity. So give River Owns makes it hard to do. These cards also have some like weird upside with the combo. Like if we have a Delighted Halfling, when we go infinite, we technically get to untap Delighted Halfling an infinite number of times. So we make infinite colorless mana or colored mana for legends. Uh, we can also like untap Giver of Runes an infinite number of times to give everything protection if we want to. Death Rite a bunch of activations if there's a bunch of lands in the graveyard. We also have a bitter removal, Swords of Plowshare, Skyclave Apparition. We can hit off Corda Calling or Coco. Mana base pretty typical timeless stuff, a pile of fetches and shocks, some channel and some basics. And that is Intruder Alarm Combo. That's our Against the Odds deck for this week. So just how legit is this deck? Did they really need to ban Intruder Alarm is historic? Is this like a legit scary combo deck that's gonna get everyone? Or is it like a super janky Against the Odds thing that's gonna happen once in a while? That's what we're gonna find out today. So let's jump into some games, see if we can make infinite creatures with Intruder Alarm. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll be back in a bit for the wrap-up. Need some magic cards? Well, you can snag them from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, over at cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish. We've got new tokens and playmats, and you can even get the tokens signed if you want. Check them all out over at mtggoldfishmerch.com. All right. It is intruder alarm time. We are trying to combo off in timeless with... The band in historic intruder alarm and our deck is <laughs> it's kind of janky there's some jank involved but this hand looks pretty good we got our uh, zeri strobe knight which is one of our two combo pieces and the intruder alarm no mana dork to speed things up but in theory this could be like a turn four combo kill uh yeah let's crack the fetch so the one challenge of comboing with zeri strobe knight is for it to tap to make a token we have to cast two spells in a turn so we do probably need one more land more intruder alarms what we'd like to do is run out the zarya strobe knight have it live and then draw land intruder alarm sword something combo off we could even swords all right we can swords youthful valkyrie i was gonna say we could actually target our zarya strobe knight with the swords and then <laughs> and then tap it in response because we would have cast two spells Let's untap Death Right Shaman. Uh, well, I mean, we got to play the Zarya Strobe Knight, right? The upside is just too huge. Plus, we're up against Angels, which usually isn't that removal heavy. Just snag a Breeding Pool. Run out the Zarya Strobe Knight. Limited playable. 
I was going to say all-star, but I don't think it's even an all-star. I think it, it might be playable. <laughs> oh, found it. Show us an angel. Okay, can we just draw land, please? If we draw land, we go infinite and we win. If we don't draw land, I guess we just play intruder alarm and pass? Yeah, down to 12. Court of Calling. We could play Death Ray and then Intruder Alarm Swords next turn. That might actually be better. That hides our intention. Although, if we play Intruder Alarm, it does keep the Angel Tap down, which might be worth it. <laughs> there is there is some weird defensive value in Intruder Alarm, which is our opponent needs to play a creature to untap their stuff now. I mean, let's see what our opponent has. As long as we can dodge removal, then we just make infinite tutus and win. I don't think angels can stop that. Opponent's down to 18, so I shouldn't be able to pump with Righteous Valkyrie. It wouldn't be lethal anyway, right? Opponent, Sigarda. I have not seen anyone try to play angels in Timeless. Interesting. Opponent's gonna smack us, sure, sure, sure. Well, I mean, we should be good, right? We drop to seven. Ooh, double swords is even better. Now we're definitely good. Opponent's gonna gain a bunch of life, but we're going to have infinite damage. <laughs> uh, sword you, sword you. So opponent goes to 28. Now we get to get in for two because of vigilance. And now the fun begins. Tap it, token, untap it, tap it, token, untap it, <laughs> tap it, token, untap it. <laughs> we can do this all day, opponent. We can do this literally all day. One thing I like about this combo is there's not a lot of clicks involved. You just keep clicking the Zeri Strobe Knight and everything else just happens. <laughs> so it's one of the easier combos to actually execute on Arena. All right, so we got to make sure we have enough power to kill our opponent, even if what's the worst case? Let's say they drop Lyra somehow. They drop Lyra. They hit us for five, they gain five, and they have a life linker back. So we gotta be able to deal like 40-ish damage, I think. Is 20, 20 is probably enough, right? Let's play 20, run out the death right shaman. That should be enough, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we should just keep going to make sure we really, really have enough. <laughs> if we lose after going infinite, I'm gonna be so sad. The problem with Zeri Strobe Knight is, why it's our secondary combo piece is we can't just combo again now because we have to cast two spells for it to work. Opponent, Coco, Righteous Valkyrie, Bishop of Wings. Oh God, there's no way they gain enough life that they don't die, right? Okay, they go up to 36. Wow, we cut that close. Opponent gonna attack us to one. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we have like basically exaxes, almost exaxes, swing with everything. Opponent, blocks, blocks. So even if they have swords, they still, t wow. Oh, okay, lesson from game number one, make a few extra tokens. <laughs> we should have went to like 30 instead of 20 because we almost let our opponent get out of that after going infinite. Well, uh, Zeri Strobe Knight, Intruder Alarm. <laughs> That's why it's banned in Historic. All right, I forgot to start my recording. <laughs> we're here on turn. We're here on turn. Uh, turn one. Our opponent, Utopia Sprawl the Forest. We have a Giver of Roots. We're trying to intruder alarm combo, and this hand actually looks sweet. We have the Steward of Solidarity, which is our best combo piece. We have Giver of Runes to protect it, and we have Intruder Alarm. This might just be the the freest of wins. Opponent Reno. Grizzled Huntmaster. Sure. Going to do a little uh, tutoring from the whole sideboard here. I feel like Grizzled Huntmaster, like, this is a card that could exist in paper, right? Very close. Like, so many of these alchemy cards, they're so close to being paperable. Well, let's run out the Steward of Solidarity. Key combo piece. Can exert itself to make a 1-1 one -one, uh, by tapping. All right, opponent. Well, you better do something big here, because we're about to make infinite tokens. And we have Giver of Runes to protect our steward. I guess they could have a way to blow up... Oh? Atrosta? What? I mean, I guess we could block and protect. No reason to risk anything. Not that Mono Green could really stop it. No, well, let's uh, play Besaju. Hmm, let's Breeding Pool. I mean, I think we just win here, but if we don't win here, Besaju can blow up the spider, actually. Let's just pass. I don't think Mono Green is going to disrupt us. Plus, we can protect the steward. So ideally, on our opponent's end step, we just make infinite 1-1s one -one and get them. <laughs> Combo. <laughs> okay, the deck's like kind of kind of working so far-ish. This is like the one place that you can actually play Steward of Solidarity and Zeri Strobe Knight. <laughs> the only uh, Pelucranos. Oh, uh, never gonna rotate from Timeless. Uh, 
Steward of Solidarity, exert it, make a 1-1, one, one, untap everything, do it again, and again. Actually, do we even need to block? What if we just make a lethal, a lethal amount of attackers? You know what would get us here? <laughs> For a turn, at least, would be a fog. If we're really in the fog meta, our opponent has a chance. <laughs> I don't... Oh, all right, opponent sees infinite tokens and scoops it up. <laughs> Intruder alarm. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Okay, okay. I know I'm the biggest defender of Deathrite Shaman, but this is one of those games, maybe our opponent plays a fetch. This is one of those games that people point to and like, eh, it's not always a mana dork. That is true. We do not currently have a fetch land. Right now, the opponent tap land, that's not a fetch. Okay, there's a fetch, that's, that's reasonable. I mean, this could be a pretty fast win. Should we be able to resolve things? So Deathrite, go off the Besage you. Cause in theory we can, Oh, how do we do this? So opponents leave me up interaction. They probably have removal. They could have a counter. Let's just let's just pass. See what our opponent does. Cycles a sensor. Okay. Well, let's crack the flooded strand. Grab a hollowed fountain untapped. And exile the land. Flash in this Zeri's Oh. Oh, that word is flying. <laughs> oh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Today we learned Zeri Strobe Knight, our key combo piece, does not actually have flash. <laughs> it says flying. <laughs> All right, we played around the counter quite expertly, though. We did exile a land from our graveyard for no reason. All part of the plan. We knew our opponent probably, yeah, see, we knew they had that counter spell. If we flashed in the Zeri Strobe Knight, they would have got us. <laughs> All right, Death Ray Shaman V down. Oh, God, I'm going to get yelled at for that one. <laughs> Reading the cards, as they say. Ooh, opponent's tapping down, though. No, maybe not. All right, opponent kills our death right. It's an island. Demonic Tuta. That was kind of a big punt. <laughs> Ottawa, eh? Well, let's play the Zeri Strobe Knight. So we're set up to go infinite next turn. Field of the Dead. Sure. Oh, they're tainted packing. Oh, all right. Well, the good news, I don't think our... Yeah. Exile the library. I don't think our putt mattered because we are not going to win that one anyway. It is intruder alarm time. We are trying to go infinite with intruder alarm and some <laughs> super janky creatures. We're going to keep this. It's a little speculative because we don't have an intruder alarm or a way to find it. We do have double steward of solidarity though and uh, a bunch of mana dorks. There's a bunch of like we'd find Coco to find a way to find intruder alarm. Court of Calling. So we got a bunch of ways we can potentially find it. Who knows? Maybe we beat down with Steward of Solidarities. Found it. And? And Crack's Polluted Delta. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, steam vents. I do love decks like this that make... Ooh. Well, at least we got a lot of Ragavan blockers. We should be able to avoid getting hit by this stupid... Mo ooh, there's the Coco, too. Although, I guess this is kind of awkward, right? Like... We play the Delighted Halfling. Exile the land. Do we play Steward? I guess we play a Steward. We might even block with the Steward, honestly. If we block with the Steward, we can Coco next turn, which is pretty sweet. We are all in on not getting hit by Ragavan. That I have decided. Yeah, we got another Steward. The only way we get punished for this is if we literally drop deck Intruder Alarm this turn. Then we're going to regret not having the Steward on the battlefield. Otherwise, I think it's a, a pretty safe bet not to get hit by Ragavan. All right, opponent untap land down to 14. Life total is not super relevant. I don't know. I guess they could be relevant. I don't know how likely it is for this deck ever to win without the combo. Our creatures are not very good at attacking. <laughs> opponent going to Helix the death right land. Okay. Well, why are blue opponents tapped out? We're going to fire off this Coco. Well, we got some Zeri's Strobe Knights. Double, double trouble. Opponent. If we don't find intruder alarm, I mean, if we find intruder alarm, we win. If we don't find intruder alarm, we can just like cast two spells, make two. Ooh. Oh, now this is actually interesting. Let's moon bless cleric. Get intruder alarm on top. I think we still play the death ray. As long as all of our stuff lives, then we get to get in with the knights. We cast two spells, so we get to make two. two maybe we can win by beating down. <laughs> This is actually like a very big board on turn three. <laughs> Pwn it, DRC. 
Well, I mean, I imagine they're countering the intruder alarm, but I think we just cast it. I think we just cast it, and if they counter it, then we just attack them with everything and make some more knights. We do go infinite if they don't counter this. Okay, they have the counter spell, sure. They get to surveil, but our opponent's at 13 because of their aggressive shocking. So now we just exile the land, play the steward of solidarity, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go beat downs, get in with everything. If our opponent blocks a knight, yeah, we can tap it before it dies to make more 2-2s. Two and I think, I mean, our opponent's at 4, and we have a huge board. Opponent needs, like, an Anger of the Gods effect. Opponent doesn't have it and scoops it up. Well, beatdown win. <laughs> Apparently it is possible. It's not bad. We have the Giver of Runes to protect our combo pieces. We need one more source of mana for Coco, and Moonblast Cleric can find Intruder Alarm. It could work. DRC and the bobble. Yep, yep, yep. Such a popular archetype. Lurus D I mean, I guess it makes sense. Like Lurus DRC, this was like one of the best decks in modern before Lurus got got the ban. Uh well, there's land number four. Kind of would have rather had a mana dork, but but we'll make do. Can we live long enough is the question. Uh Temple Garden untap. Get down the giver of runes. Well, we'll see how, how aggressive our opponent can be. Right now, it's kind of fine. They just have a 1-1. One, one. These decks, because they're Lurus decks, you know, all their stuff's cheap, so they could just build a massive board super quick. Opponent. Seer, oh, okay, so this is definitely a burn deck. So Searing Blood to kill the Giver. So the problem with burn is twofold. One is, they can just kill us super fast. Two is, Lightning Bolts and Searing Bloods, and most of the burn spells can take down our combo pieces. I feel like Burn is probably a really tough matchup. Zeri, Strobe, Knight, also oh, so slow. I don't know if there's a way we can win from here, honestly, with having all three and four drops. I mean, I guess it's just tap land pass. So next turn, I mean, we can Coco in two turns if there are two more turns in this game. Oh, second Dragon Rage Channeler. All right, no, no Burn, at least. Pump in the Knight. Yeah, we might die before we cast another spell this game. Mills will play with Fire. Mills will light up the stage, turns on the DRCs, cracks the wooded foothills. Shouldn't you crack before you surveil, technically? Technically, opponent, untap land. Skewer. I mean, so we're at seven, we're at four? Opponent's just gonna be too fast. We can play the Zeri Strobe Knight and Chump Block, but then we still can't win. Yeah, all right, burn. We got the Zeri Strobe Knights, we got the Intruder Alarms, Giver for some protection. We would rather have a Mana Dork. The deck really likes having a Mana Dork on turn one, but this is fine. Mishra's Bobble. I think Timeless is the bobbliest of formats, honestly. People love their bobbles. I guess it makes sense. Like, it's it's kind of a free cantrip, even with the timing restriction. There's just so many little synergies. Well, okay, Giver of Runes part two. Opponent considers. Two givers is kind of nice because they can protect each other. Really, though, we need manas. Good news is he's here. Oh, so it might be one of those awkward games. So often, uh, often we can play the game in a way that Zeri Strobe's Knight drawback doesn't really matter. Brainstorm for our opponent. Well, of having to cast two spells in a turn. But I imagine there's going to be some games where we have the combo with the Zeri Strobe Knight, but we can't cast the second spell. That seems like a thing that'll happen eventually. But there's just not that many other easy two-card combos with Intruder Alarm. There's some in red, like Cranko. Cranko's very different, though. Like, too expensive for Coco, whole nother color. In our colors, I think we have the only realistic options. Well, Death Rite's okay. <laughs> There's no land in the graveyard at the moment. Maybe our opponent will surveil us some mana. <laughs> this is a uh, Ledger Shredder. Okay, connive us some mana. Just get a land in the graveyard opponent. One way or another. We don't even care how. I feel so bad because I'm always defending. I'm always defending the Death Rite Shaman. Always talking about how <laughs> how it's consistent. It should be a, considered a mana dork. And then games like this happen where it's not going to be a mana dork. Not at the moment, at least. Well, Stewarder Solidarity is actually fine with double layers of protection. This means all we need is a land in the graveyard or to draw land. All right, 
All we need to do is draw land and we win. <laughs> we have the full combo with double giver of rooms protection, but our death ray shaman is betraying us after we've been so nice to death ray shaman. A land in the grave. Ooh, all right, tap land. All right, land. We're totally set up to go infinite. Ha, all right, there we go. There we go. And uh, GG is it. <laughs> Intruder alarm. And let's have a little fun while your opponent's tapped out. Sewer solidarity, token, untap it, token, untap it, token, untap it. <laughs> we can do this all day about it. I mean, this is what, turn four? After missing land drops, we could have won much quicker. This would have been a turn three kill hand, potentially, if we had uh, hit our lands. Well, okay, nine tokens, ten tokens. So Bona has what? Two blockers. They could have more blockers. I guess we go to, like, 20-ish. Plus, we got a bunch of other creatures. I don't know how much they can, they can really uh, disrupt us here. I mean, we could go to the token limit, technically. But, uh, you know what? Let's go a little more. We learned against that angel deck <laughs> that we should probably go, whenever you think you've made enough tokens, make like two more just to be safe. Because we almost, <laughs> we almost messed it up against angels about it. Even if they have a sweeper, they still lose. Like if they had an anger of the gods, we just protect the steward of solidarity. They wrath everything else. And then we go infinite again on end step. Express Federation finally surveils land, grows the Dragon Rage Channeler. But I imagine we're going to see our opponent's head explode here shortly. I don't see, I don't see a way out. That's the nice thing about comboing with Steward is we can restart the combo. Zeri Strobe uh, Knight, hard to, uh, hard to restart the combo with because you need to cast two more spells. Yeah, opponent not getting out of that combo kill. And uh, yeah, Intruder Alarm. When it works, it is actually a very effective way to win a game of Magic. Not the best Death Rite Shaman hand, I will admit, but we can play Death Rite Shaman, and someday a land's gonna go in the graveyard. Double channel land opener is kinda awkward. This is close to comboing, though. We have, oh boy, aggro, burn, burn. What is it with these burn players? Fetch land's nice. Oh, now this hand's kinda, kinda awesome, maybe. So I think we, do we just get a Plains? Yeah, maybe we need the Temple Garden. We do have this Court of Calling. It's probably worth the two life. So let's exile the fetch land and get down our Zeri. Well, hmm. Do we Moonblast Cleric or Zeri Strobe Knight? Moonblast Cleric gets Intruder Alarm. If we play the Knight, though, we could just luck into Intruder Alarm. I think Knight is highest upside. Another fast land. And Searing Blood. Boy, burn. These burn players, though. Uh, we do draw a fetch land. I don't think we need the mana this turn though let's just moon bless cleric get the intruder alarm so i think our new plan do we attack i guess we we're not gonna block so i think our new plan is to try to court of calling out a combo piece all right another okaiba reckon raid sure 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 and well at least they had to send their skewer at our death right i guess it was gonna start gaining us life so our opponent Light up the stage. Oh boy. Skewer and light up the stage. How do we do this? I mean, I think we got to get down the intruder alarm. You know what? I think our best plan is to pass. Pass, hope we survive. And then we can court out Steward of Solidarity and then just go infinite. That's that's a game plan. Being at nine, knowing our opponent has a bolt oh, and a hopeless nightmare. Yeah. Oh, we might be just too slow here. And discard the swords, drop to seven. And this thing has menace, so we're taking taking the hit down to five. The other thing is, even if we go infinite, we need one more turn to attack to win. Light up the stage. Yeah, that looks like a lethal amount of burn. Yeah, burn seems like a tricky matchup. Not the, not the best matchup for uh, intruder alarm. We ain't got no intruder alarm, but we do have the knight and some ramp and some protection. I think this is, this is a keep. Opponent. Ragavan. What are we going to try to block the stupid monkey with? Giver or death right? Yeah, probably death right. We have many more mana dorks and giver against Rakdos, probably important for protecting combo creatures. Can they kill the death right or do we actually stop? Oh, all right. Well, bring it, Ragavan. Bring it. 
<laughs> Getting hit by Ragavan never feels good. Ponet steals a sword that so we would have loved to have drawn. Plays a swamp and a death right shaman. We draw a Coco. Well, giver of runes in tap land. All right, can we can we block the stupid monkey? We sometimes can survive a Ragavan hit. Surviving two Ragavan hits, that's a that's another story. I mean, the upside of this deck is we do have the combo, so there's always a chance, even if things look a little grim. Oh, boy. All right, Coligan's command. We'll discard a Zeri Strobe Knight. Opponent gets in. Monkey hit two. Yeah, that's where it gets rough. Surviving one Ragavan hit is doable sometimes. Two. Oh, Steward of Solidarity. We wanted that. That's our best combo creature we are getting absolutely wrecked by the monkey this game stole the swords that would have killed the monkey and to steal the combo piece our best combo piece are they gonna play it, it looks like they might i mean i guess they might as well it's it's a two two that can make a one one sometimes <laughs> not nearly as good if you aren't going infinite but well i mean oh they're still going if there's good news it's that our opponent's almost out of cards dragon rage channeler we draw a giver of runes. Well, what is our game plan here? How can we win this game? Let's just play the giver, pass the turn. I think our hope is Court of Calling into combo piece plus, oh no, what's a three drop that tutors Intruder Alarm to the top of our deck? That thing. <laughs> And then untap intruder alarm combo kill. We will cash in our giver to block the Ragavan. We gotta stop these monkey beats. Two cards in hand. They can't get their Lurus. All right, they played Death right. And wow, we drew the intruder alarm. I think we still have to Cord a Calling. We trust that Cord will hit. Oh, Bowmasters. Oh, we might just be too far behind. So that's our opponent's last card. Man, the Ragavan might have gotten there. Just enough damage and the 2-2 two -two they stole from us is actually that damage is relevant here. So we can Coco to hopefully hit combo piece plus blocker. The hard part's gonna be, so we really need to hit a Steward of Solidarity. We need to hit the Steward, not a Zeri Strobe Knight. The problem is with Zeri Strobe Knight, I don't think we're gonna be able to cast two spells next turn unless we top deck like a one drop. Well, let's see. Hopefully we just hit the Steward and then we're good. These death rites are gonna be a concern. So, well, get the forest. We might just die to death rights, actually. Collect a company. Spin it to win it. Spin it to win it. We did hit a combo creature. Unfortunately, it's Zeri Strobe Knight. So take that and take, I guess, a death right. So to go infinite, we get to do a little bit of blocking. Uh, Kill the DRC. Kill the Bowmaster. So we drop to five, which is a virtual one because of death rights. So if we draw a one or two drop... Okay, opponent's gonna get Luris. That's actually big. The fact that they're going for Luris instead of just aggressively draining us with Death Rite means we have a shot. Because if they just Death Rite, Death Rite, Death Rite, Death Rite, we die. Like, <laughs> we actually just straight up lose to Death Rite Drain. But our opponent's gonna go Mana Dork mode and play Luris, which normally would be very scary, but that's better than Death, which is other option. <laughs> so, opponent. Yeah, Luris. Well, we draw a land. So we can play Intruder Alarm. Yeah, it doesn't work. We can play Intruder Alarm, but we'd have to shock ourselves to play the other Zeri Strobe Knight to draw the first Zeri Strobe Knight. That puts us to three, and then our opponent can just double death right for lethal. We needed to draw, I guess, a non-pain land or a two drop. There were a bunch of ways. With our opponent choosing Luris, there were a bunch of ways we could have won there. We almost pulled it out against that incredible start for our opponent. Double, double Ragavan hit, we almost got there. Yeah, no way out. Wow, that was a close one. That was a super close one. It's a good one. Uh, death right into Zeri Strobe Knight or Coco. Feed the graveyard with a fetch land. Thank you, opponent. Make sure our death rights turned on. Oh, they might have their own death rights. That's also, there's a lot of death rights in this format. Death rights so good. Really tanky on the fetch. Gets a breeding pool. Oh, the wildest of Nakatles. All right. So, opponent, domain. Domain Zoo. I'm amazed at how well Timeless has balanced itself so far. <laughs> it's it's made me even more convinced that we should unban a bunch of cards in Modern. 
somehow, somehow just letting all these busted cards free has led to a fairly bad, I mean, it's very early. Maybe the formats get salved in uh, six months and everyone hates it. But for now, it's actually like very oddly balanced. <laughs> It's, it goes back to that Mr. Burns germ meme where all the all the germs are trying to get in at once and they, they all kind of block the door. <laughs> that is timeless, all the busted cards, but they all kind of like balance each other out somehow. Well, we'll get down the death right. We could use a land. A land would be sweet. Land lets us Coco pound it. Gets in with the Nicodle. We will take it. We could try to block and protect, but I don't think it's worth the risk at the moment. Tribal Flames are face to six. That's a lot of damage. We draw another Zeri Strobe Knight. I think we must Swords and Nicodle. Now, now that we know that our opponent has... Yeah, do it now so they can't counter. Now that we know that our opponent has uh, Tribal Flames, though, little, little concerned. Tribal Flames is just so much damage. It's pretty realistic. We just get double bolted here or something. Opponent. Well, here's number one. Down to three. All right. Well, apparently Double Volt was very realistic. <laughs> Brutal. Mana Dork, Knight, Intruder Alarm, GG. Well, let's see what removal our opponent has, but this might be the, this might be the combo, the turn, turn three-ish combo kill. I guess we still need one more mana to opponent. Oh, don't kill, no. All right, kills the Delighted Halfling, ooh. Okay, new plan. That's a that's a steward. Steward does not need any setup to combo. That's the that's the upside of the steward. Let's run it out. It is very suspicious though. I imagine if you see someone play steward of solidarity, it's gotta set off alarms. Cause why would anyone play this unless they're trying to do something like it's not a good enough standalone card that anyone would just play it. Ragavan. So I feel like once you play it, people gotta think, oh, death right. We would really love to draw a land and win. Imagine, imagine that. We would have enjoyed winning this game. But we can wait one more turn. We can wait more turn. That's fine. Not the not the dream. The question is, what do we do about Ragavan? Opponent ops. Do we take the Ragavan hit and just hope for the best to make sure we we have enough mana to cast Intruder Alarm? That's the big question. I actually don't know the answer. They didn't attack? Oh, that's the... That is the dream of dreams. Okay, interesting. Well, if our opponent's not going to attack and going to leave up mana, they got to have a counter, right? That's the only thing that even, like, kind of makes sense. Now we actually could, if our opponent attacks with Ragavan, we'd actually just exert the steward to make a token to block. Although we also have swords now, which might be able to beat out a counter. Are we bolting? <clears throat> Well, okay, maybe Stuart is not that suspicious. Uh, opponent's gonna just kill the death ray. So we're gonna get rid of the Ragavan. Yeah, maybe maybe Stuart does not set off as many alarm bells as I thought. I assumed you see Stuart and you just expect something scary and bad's about to happen, but maybe that's not actually the case. Opponent getting in with the Snapcaster. Well, we will take that hit, that's fine. Taking two from Snapcaster, a lot different than taking two from Ragavan. Tap out. Ooh, expressive iteration. That could be the first step towards tapping down. I mean, we probably just go for it, right? I feel like, I feel like it's worth just, we have two intruder alarms. But it's only got one mana. They can't snap caster. They already snapped a bolt last time. Yeah, we gotta go for it. Intruder alarm? Oh my God, snap resolve. Removal check? <laughs> Ta oh my goodness, tap it. Okay. Well, I guess we just win. <laughs> oh, opponent made the wrong choice. Opponent... Yeah, Steward of Solidarity. If you see someone play Steward of Solidarity, you gotta expect they're trying to, <laughs> they're trying to do this because why else would you put Steward of Solidarity in your deck? Opponent, yeah, I mean, Death Rite is good. Good game to you, opponent. Death Rite is like good against Snapcaster, but Steward just makes you die. <laughs> it just straight up kills you. <laughs> well, we will make a enough tokens for our opponent to concede. In this hand, is pretty much exactly what we want. Turn one Mana Dork. Turn two Zeri Strobe Knight. Turn three, I guess we need something to trigger the Knight. Ooh, could even just be a land though. A land is enough. Well, I mean, and opponent's mono green. Oh goodness. This might be our fastest kill ever. This might be the, the straight up turn three infinite. Breeding pool. Run out the Zeri Strobe Knight. 
And let's see if our opponent's presumably mono green deck, uh, Abro Grazer. Ah, uh, they're trying to do Field of the Dead stuff, I see. It's the Field of the Dead Primeval Titan deck, sure. Colony Garden, well, all that is fine and dandy, opponent, but we will, uh, <laughs> play an Intruder Alarm and Swords Your Grazer just to send a message. Actually, we need to cast a second spell, and uh, here we go, 2-2. Two, two. Untap, 2-2. Two, two. This technically gives us infinite color, uh, colorless mana, too. And opponent! <laughs> well, opponent was trying to make a bunch of 2-2s. Two, Unfortunately for them, our plan for making 2-2s, two, a little, little faster than Field of the Dead. <laughs> turn 3! Turn 3! Got him, got him. Eh. I mean, technically we have the combo, right? Giver of Runes, we have the Moonblast Cleric that can find the Intruder Alarm. We got the Zeri Strobe Knight. So in theory, we have the combo. Unfortunately, it's kind of a slow version of the combo. Oh boy, are we up against control? It's a slow version of the combo because we got a moon bus character to find, to find the intruder alarm. Intruder alarm's flavor is actually kind of sweet. So I guess like everyone's sleeping and then a creature tries to sneak in and you wake everyone up. <laughs> I just actually, re I never really thought that through before, that actual flavor of Intruder Alarm. But it actually is, like, that actually kind of nails it, right? As far as, like, a top-down design of <laughs> of an Intruder Alarm. About it, cracking the Flooded Strad. Ah, yeah, Control. The problem is we really need to resolve our combo pieces. And Control decks are kind of good at stopping that sometimes. Maybe it's a Domain deck. Well, we're going to pass. We're going to leave up our Eaver of Runes. Opponent, Strict Proctor. Oh, well, I guess we need a Swords to Plowshares. Yeah, that actually stops our combo, doesn't it? Oh, all right, there's a Swords to Plowshares. Uh, well, we're gonna get rid of that right away because they're probably playing Lotus Field. If you're playing Strict Proctor, you're probably not playing it just as a hate card, even though it actually does just hard lock our combo. That was a <laughs> fortunate top deck of Swords to Plowshares. Uh, let's run out the Zeri Strobe Knight. Pass the turn. Two Giver of Runes is pretty good protection. They can even like protect each other, which is pretty sweet. Opponent, Forest, and Uro. The other downside of Moonblast Cleric is we're definitely gonna telegraph that Intruder Alarm is coming. This also, oh, this is very awkward. We're seeing the we're seeing the downside of Zeri Strobe Knight. Ugh, land, we really wanted to spell there. We're seeing the downside of Zeri Strobe Knight, which is we do need to cast two spells in the turn to turn it on. So let's say we Moonbless Cleric, we get the Intruder Alarm on the top of our deck. The next turn we draw Intruder Alarm, we play the Intruder Alarm, but nothing happens. Because we haven't cast a second spell for Zeri Strobe Knight. So I don't think we even play the Moonblast Cleric here. I think we just wait. We really need to draw a second spell that we can cast. And then we can then we can try to set up the combo kill. So we just need to draw a, a spell, a castable spell. We don't even care what it is. It just needs to it just needs to be a second spell for uh triggering the knight. Pony Uro, number two. Well, the good news is if we go off, we're going to deal infinite damage, so our opponent gaining a bit with a row doesn't really matter. The bad news is they're up to five lands. I assume they're doing Field of the Dead stuff. Well, let's thin the deck. Crack the Flooded Strand. Snag a Temple Garden. Spell. Castable Spell. Another fetch. Well, we got mana. That's good. Get in for three. I mean, sooner or later we'll draw a spell. Opponent's going to brainstorm. No fetch land, though. I want to brainstorm in this deck, but it's hard to find enough room to play brainstorm and Coco and swords and enough creatures for Coco. So I ended up getting cut. I think Coco is good enough for it to, wow, so many Euros. Euro does get a pretty sweet animation. I miss I miss the early days of Arena when they actually put sweet animations on things. We do not get nearly as many sweet animations these days. About it, Euro trot in the graveyard and a one ring. Well. Uh, that means, well, I mean, we weren't really killing our opponent this turn anyway. Can we just draw a spell, please? Spell, maybe. Oh, Intruder Alarm. That's actually the, the best draw, right? Because now we can cast two spells. One of them is Intruder Alarm. Well, all right, we're going to put our opponent to the test. So play the Intruder Alarm, play the Moonblast Cleric. Not even going to bother to tutor anything up. We got to do it now, because Zeri's Trope Knight is odd, so we need to make a very infinite number of 2-2s, 
And then we got to pass and see what happens. I am worried that our opponent could be a wrath deck. They also, we see the one ring. They could chain one rings. I mean, we have infinite power. We literally have infinite damage, but we can't win this turn. We got to wait a turn to, to try to win. <laughs> so I'm actually not sure how this turns out. I don't think we've had a game yet where we went infinite and then ended up losing, but this might actually happen. It's possible. Well, we're going to make a bunch of tutus. Yeah, 20. I mean, if they got a wrath, they got a wrath. So one ring hits them to 19. Well, let's see what they got. They need a wrath, a one ring. I guess a wrath or a one ring. And they get to draw a bunch of cards because they got the one ring. So, all right, one ring draws. Hold, hold, hold Zeri Strobe Knight. Who knows what they could have? They have full five color. Target removal is not going to get it done. That's for sure. Yeah, as I mentioned before, the one downside of the Zeri Strobe Knight combo is we can't restart it. Like, we're at least two turns away from comboing again. Pony untap land. Ugh, okay. I don't know why they need their eighth mana untap, but that's probably a bad sign. Do they not have it? Is there a chance? Is there a chance they just actually don't have an answer here? Oh my god, do we... Why are they not scooping? We draw a Coco. Well, I mean... Okay, they're gonna try to Swords a Giver. So, Giver, protect the Giver. Discontinuity. That was a weird... Okay, I mean, this does keep our opponent alive. It's like a super fog. <laughs> I don't know the point of... Sword, the swords was weird, but all right, opponent's gonna draw three cards. Back to the same position. No, now we can add discontinuity to the list. No one ring, no wrath, no discontinuity. What our opponent probably should have done. All right, another strike proctor. Well, thankfully we've already comboed. What our opponent I think should have done with discontinuity is let us attack so all of our creatures are tapped and then discontinuity. I think that would be better than swords because intruder alarm, we'd have to play another creature. Someone would. All right, there's a lotus field to actually untap our board. So that might have been the, the way to get the most value out of it. I mean, this proctor and lotus field doesn't matter. Lotus field's tap. Proctor doesn't stop the beat downs. Uro doesn't do it. One, two, three, four, five. They have six mana. They still have discontinuity mana. So maybe they're just going to do that again and then try to go off with lotus field one ring mana. It's going to get bad. Like our opponent's drawing four with one ring next turn. So. So we really would like them to die this turn. <laughs> Given the choice, we would choose you die. All right. Opponent's not dying this turn. Although, what one ring do they keep? They keep the new one. And they have to pay. <laughs> they have to pay. Oh, oh it would have been so funny if they couldn't pay and they stifled their own one ring trigger. Uh, all right. Opponent. I wonder if it's worth. I bet. I don't know. I wonder if it's worth keeping the big one ring there. Just getting protection. Run out. Another combo piece. Steward of Solidarity is actually kind of sweet. That's a uh, that's another way we can combo in the future. Although the big issue is going to be, can we ever like just get in an attack where our opponent's not protected? All right, one ring draws two. Wouldn't it have been better to keep the big one ring and like draw five because you're still desperate, right? To like you got to have something. If you don't have something, Archmage's Charm to steal the Giver. Let us protect Zeri's Strobe Knight. It actually really doesn't matter. All right, they're going to Swords it. We really don't need the Zeri Strobe Knight anymore, especially with Steward of Solidarity out. So opponent, going to Yoink the Giver. We could have, like, Cocoed in response to untap stuff, but we really want to save the Coco in case they do find a Wrath. Opponent brainstorms three cards deeper. One, two, three. I mean, they still got the mana. They got six mana. Come on. <laughs> Fizzle. Opponent, another land. Cracks the land. Can they find the answer? Otherwise... Zeri Strobe Knight gonna get the job done. Memory Deluge. Oh, goodness. Wait, we might actually have this. With three mana, I don't know how they get out of this. And opponent scoops it up. Wow. <laughs> I did not think we were gonna win that. I think the, the odds were in favor of our opponent chaining stuff together and winning that game, but uh, didn't find it. Even with the one ring, could not find it. Well, that's Memory Deluge. Not getting the job done. An intruder alarm showing off. <laughs> Sweet, sweet. So what do we learn this week about Intruder Alarm in Timeless? So overall with the deck, 
21 games, won nine of them, 43% match win percentage. So pretty against the odds. We did combo with the deck a ton of times, which is good because uh, one of the downsides of this deck is winning without the combo, not very likely. I'm pretty sure out of our nine wins, once we won without having the combo happen. Uh, our creatures are not very good at attacking or blocking. They're very synergistic and good at helping us go infinite. And if we go infinite, we pretty much always win. Uh, but if we don't go infinite, our opponent can stop our intruder alarm or whatever. The backup beat down plan, not super realistic. So I think the deck, uh, the things I like about it are this. It has a super legit nut draw, like turn one giver of earns, turn two steward of solidarity, turn three intruder alarm. That's gonna be pretty much any deck in the format. Uh, that's the upside. The combo is really fast and it is really good at winning the game when it comes together. The downside is, well, one that I mentioned, we don't have the best backup plan if we can't combo off. The other problem is we are disruptible by removal. Like if our opponent can just keep killing our steward of solidarities or keep countering our intruder alarms or killing our Zeri strobe knights, it does become pretty hard to like actually combo off or a combo that relies on having a specific non-summoning sick creature on the battlefield. So there is this window for our opponent to deal with it. The giver of runes definitely helps there, but that's still the biggest drawback of the deck is it is disruptible by some pretty popular cards. The big question is, is Intruder Alarm actually a scary card? And I mean, on one hand, yes. Like we saw the dream of just like turn three combo kills with the card. That is something the Intruder Alarm enables. Like it does enable these really fast combo kills when things go well. On the other hand, seeing like the inconsistency of intruder alarm i actually think it would be perfectly fine in historic like i don't think it needs to be bad i guess it doesn't matter as much at this point anyway since now we have timeless so we don't even need to be able to play it in historic for it to really matter but i will say power level wise I think you could easily unban Intruder Alarm in Historic, and it would probably be about like this. It would be an Against the Odds deck where we do really cool, sweet things like 43% of the time, but then the other 57% of the time, we just get Thought Seize and Fatal Push into Oblivion. So anyway, that's Intruder Alarm. That's been our Against the Odds for this week. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Looking for even more magic? Well, check out the video where we tried to see if a 12 rare deck could win in Timeless, or maybe the one where we talked about the best creature from every year Magic the Gathering.